Secret prize. <laughs> bling bling, baby. The red ones are worth ten quark tokens. I can't remember how much. I can't remember what the quark tokens do actually. Let's try and find out. Wait, let's hope I don't miss any then. This needs its own game, who's with me? Ow. Hold on, did I pick up that red one? I must have. Did I? I don't know. See, don't you have a gun actually? I remember getting a laser. Must get it a bit later. Here we go. Press circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. Alright. Right, you want to save ammo actually, well you only carry 20 which is kind of lame. Because we got to fight that space eel again. Right, unlike Castlevania, we can actually move down and we'll... We can actually leave the screen while going up and we won't fall when going down, you know. Well, actually, pretty much every 8-bit game does that, doesn't it? Kid Icarus, Contra Castlevania, obviously. All games do it. Right, seven more uh, quark tokens to get. We can do this. Three more, we can do it. One more, there it is. Ah, titanium bowl, right. Fair enough. Oh, crap. Health. Mm, a nice juicy health upgrade. Remember, cadets, there's one in every level. All right, you don't just have to hit its head; you can hit it anywhere. Fair enough. I'm down with that. Ouch. I need more ammo. One more gun. <laughs> Wonder, oh crap. There we go. Hee <laughs> hee. Take that robotic space eel. Those are really fun, those bits. And look at this. The game actually gives you money. Why don't they make a console like that? It actually rewards you with money.
I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes the cake. Pirate, ghost, and robots. I mean, what do they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund, a charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. Mr. President? Yes, I got the fruit basket. Thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. Of devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, oh, shit. this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Course. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred! Fred is a Gadgetron accountant who claims he wants at a Morpho Ray go off in his pants. What a champ. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. That needs to be made into a t-shirt. And yeah, I mean, sorry. My lovely mother brought me in some rolls and sausage, so I'm eating them. Alright, so we gotta go to this game's version of the, uh, you know, kinda arena battle things. There's only one in this level, in this game, which is fine, you know. There was two in Ratchet too, but you only really need one, you know. Nom nom nom. Meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clang's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a Tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet. Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Force. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. I never noticed how many cutscenes are in this game, actually. Right, I believe there's a skill point for uh, killing all the cameras. Well, not killing them, more like smashing them up. Right, he just talked about a demolition derby, didn't he? There was, a, there is actually, well, was an unlockable section in this game. Well, there was gonna be a section in this game where you took part in car racing things, you know. Because in this game's version of the Insomniac Museum, 
it'll uh, uh, you can actually take part in an uncompleted course, which is really cool. Hold down L2 or R2 while running. You've decided to just tell us that. 